On this week's episode of The Curse of Oak Island, the Lagana brothers continue their search and uncover what might be an ancient shipwreck. After studying images of the area the team are pretty sure there is something in the swamp, they are just not sure what. The only way to find out is to put a diver in and explore it more thoroughly. The diver has found something pretty big in the murky water but what is it? I have always suspected the swamp to have been man-made, due to its triangular shape. If there really is a ship then it would be pretty exciting news as most of the legends regarding any treasure would have involved transportation by ship over some distance. A stone with an X carved on it has turned up. If you have been watching my videos, you will know this new stone tablet discovery is further collaboration of Templar symbology. The marking is quite unusual as it appears to have a hook carved onto one of the cross tails. Is the swamp a burial of knights killed during its construction? Were they buried at the location, hidden within a man-made bog? Rick says, it could be something, it could be nothing. Last week they investigated the Templar well, further supporting my theory, my findings, my suspicions and confirming their presence locally at the time. It seems the History Channel willing or not, has buckled in regards to the Columbus pioneer theory, and are slowly, but surely, seeing sense turning, as did I, in the directions the evidence takes them. Regardless of public paradigm. Interestingly, it seems the brothers may be on the right side after all, they have found what looks like an all-seeing nice symbol carved onto a rock, I suspect this is more modernized Masonic symbology, rather than the founding Templars. Another slightly off-topic subject that has cropped up this season are unexplained sounds, and feelings some of the team have experienced. Marty doesn't believe in the paranormal, or curses, but he tells of one night, he wanted to spend some time alone on the island, just to see what all the superstitions were about. Walking around the island minding his own business he suddenly heard a blood-curdling scream, but he figured it might just be some large animal. However, he soon became really afraid and the hair on the back of his neck stood up. He jumped in the car and sped off, only to meet Rick coming up the road asking him why he was so freaked out. Are the brothers beginning to be harassed by the mysterious red-coated guards, witnessed by many people over the years on the island and always at night, I seriously doubt that if the brothers are out with an eye to expose all of the island's secrets, that they will be given an easy ride by certain entities. All of the research I do is conveyed to the world. It seems, thankfully, so is theirs. As always, a thanks for watching. A girl named Peggy Adams, who lived on the island with her parents, claimed to have seen something very strange. Red coats? Sure, honey. 